Listen, I don't know who is to blame. Quite frankly, I really don't care when it comes to the relationship between Giants head coach Brian Dayball and defensive coordinator Wink Martindale. Why did this only last two years? Why did Wink decide to step down earlier today as defensive coordinator? Well, after Dayball said he expected Wink to be back this morning before they met, Dayball and the Giants decided to fire his outside linebackers coach, Drew Wilkins, and his brother, Kevin, who were both close to Wink, which led to his resignation. When Dayball hired Martindale as his defensive coordinator, there was no previous clo uh, coaching relationship. Dayball hired the best defensive mind available. Their relationship was reportedly an issue during the season. It should not come as any surprise that the two men have decided to part ways. There's no other way to cut it, though. Wink Martindale's resignation is a huge loss for the Giants. Very good coach, connects with his players, is great in getting best out of them as well. When you look at the Giants defensive performance, however, this season, not particularly strong as a unit. Maybe Wink's lack of adjustments as a DC did him in just as it did with the Ravens. Clearly, though, the personalities of the two men became an issue. Wink talked about New York being a destination place to coach. Now he moves on for Dayball. The pressure is now to find a defensive mind and a coordinator replace Wink that is as talented, creative and garnered the respect in that room similar to the one that decided to walk out the door. There's no way to cut it. It's never a good thing when talented coaches decide to leave your NFL team. Can the Giants replace Wink? For sure. Will it be difficult? Absolutely. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.